Hey everyone, this is my experience with taking Celexa and antidepressant drugs in my journey to overcoming depression. When I was depressed, I finally got to a point where I realized, look, you gotta do something because you're messed up. So the first thing I did was accept, hey, maybe antidepressant medication might work. I was against them, but I realized, okay, dude, you've You've hit rock bottom it's too many times. Let's go try seeing a psychiatrist. So I go to a psychiatrist. I'm in university. It's some, um, you know, really cheap and affordable. I go in and the first thing I notice is I walk in, they sit me down, they go through my symptoms, and she kind of just talks about, yeah, antidepressants, sounds like you don't feel good. Which one would you like to try? Paxil, Celexa, or Zoloft? And she kind of, I'm kind of looking at it and she goes, Celexa has the least amount of side effects and won't affect your libido like the other ones. So I go, okay, let's take Celexa. So go home with Celexa, I'm taking it. And in, I mean, I don't get, you know, some people it takes a few weeks, but for me, I'm just, whoa! After about a week, I was just flying. I started like making up rap songs and I was just like, yes. I have found the fix. I'm, I'm there. I'm feeling good. Like I just felt good for no reason. Like I was just everything was pleasurable. Interestingly enough, my libido went through the roof. Like a lot of people, they have the other <laughs> reverse effect, but for me, it was like out of control, just way boosted. So I'm okay. Boom, depression solved. I'm going in mountains, playing guitar songs around campfires with friends. I'm having a great time. A month or so goes by and I start to get depressed again. I'm like, uh-oh, I'm a little depressed. I don't know what this is. So I go back in, oh yeah. The psychiatrist says to me, yeah, that's normal. Just need to up your dose. Okay, so increase my dose. I go home and within a few days, boom, there we are. Feeling good once again, and I, but this time, you know, I'm starting to get a little more side effects, like my throat's getting a little dry, things are, you know, just a little bit different, and I'm still getting that feeling like, yeah, things are good, but it's kind of a weird, it was kind of a weird, like, I'm not really there, but things are good. Like, it's not like that genuine sense of emotions, it was just like, yeah, things are good, but the same time I would kind of question like are things good or like I was it's kind of a confusing weird feeling but anyways another month or so goes by and I'm, I'm happy I'm like yay antidepressant medications this is the way to go same thing I start to get depressed again so I go back oh up your dose boom another few months and then I go back up my dose again so now I'm taking some crazy dose when I'm taking this, all of a sudden I lose my mind. I'm like, just out of control. Just like, yeah! I'm, I'm getting so much work done. I'm starting projects left and right. I go to the mall and I like start making out with some girl on the street. I get like 10 phone numbers. Like, whoa, what's going on? Partly, you know, from crazy confidence from the drug and from the libido effects. And then I'm just like going out of control and then I crash real hard. So I go... I go to see the psychiatrist again. She's not there anymore, so I go to see this guy. He says, yeah, you know, your symptoms are probably bipolar, which is the antidepressant medication. That's what it's doing to you now. So, you, you know, he starts suggesting lithium. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, you know, I kind of know about lithium. I've done my research. If I am bipolar, I'd rather try Lamotrigine. I don't want to try lithium. Just, you know, I know some people and... Just from reading it, I don't know if I want to try it. And he goes, no, you should try lithium. Everyone tries lithium first. Then I start asking him questions about Lamotrigine and lithium, and he's looking it up on Wikipedia, like looking up the answers. And I'm like, yeah, well, you know, I wish I could see my old psychiatrist because I don't know about this. But he kept pushing lithium on me, and I'm like, look, I don't want to take lithium. And then he says, hey, Lamotrigine's going to be like 20 bucks a bottle. Lithium's only $4 a bottle. Take lithium. Writes me the prescription for lithium. Gives it to me. Okay, so I'm taking lithium now. Two days after taking lithium, I'm driving down the road, and I'm just like pissed off. And I, 
and I, I don't get pissed off normally. It's just, that's not really who I am. I don't know, maybe, but, and I'm driving down the road, but, and I've never had road rage before, and I'm just, I'm like, oh, man, I'm, I'm like, I'm freaking just, I want to kill somebody, and these people pull up next to me, and they're just looking at me like, they're all drunk, and they're sitting there like, what up, man, and I'm looking at them from the side, and then all of a sudden, you know, the guy just yells at me, like, fuck you, and so then I'm just, I just lose my mind, and I'm like, I'm going to kill you and I veer off the road and I'm trying to chase them down, they lose me and then I go home and I'm storming back and forth and I call my friend and I'm like, yo, this isn't normal. And he came over and I was just out of control. So I stopped the lithium and I'm still taking this Alexa. After a while, I mean, I'm just like, look, okay, you tried antidepressants, you, they don't work for you, let's just stop taking it just to stop taking this antidepressant. So, you know, I'll just stop taking this Alexa. I go into my internship at a venture capital firm the next day, completely off my antidepressant. Everyone's looking at me weird, like, you okay, TJ? And I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. But at midnight, I mean, uh, afternoon comes, and I'm just, I'm out, I'm just out of it. Everyone's like, you okay, you okay, you okay? And I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm okay. Actually, no, I'm not okay. I gotta go home. And everyone's like, oh, what's going on with TJ? And I'm walking home, halfway home, I just start crying. And I get into my uh, house, and I just like walk into the kitchen. I fall down on the ground, and I'm staring at the ceiling for two hours. I know how long it was because of the time in the kitchen afterwards and when I left the internship. And I'm laying on the ground, looking at the ceiling for two hours, saying, TJ, you gotta get up got to go get some food. You just got to get up. And I could not get up for two hours. So I had to get back on the antidepressant because it was clear, I, you know, you can't just stop taking those things. If you just stop taking those things, you, you're you going to be in for one crazy ride. I'm just confused. I'm going to Barnes & Noble. I'm researching, and that's when I all of a sudden start coming across all this research on amino acid supplements and nutrition. So I'm taking the 5-HTP, B vitamins, L-tryptophan, and a few other things, and I wean myself off the antidepressant. And as I'm weaning myself off, I'm, I'm, you know, for lack of a better term, I'm, I'm basically tripping. I'm uh, going a little nuts. I'm listening to music on um, YouTube, like in my headphones, just laying there, like drifting off to other places. Um, and then I start getting those zaps. I start getting the zaps, which... You can't really explain what a zap feels like until you've had a zap. It basically feels like this weird electrical current just goes through your body and it feels like it should hurt, but it doesn't hurt for some reason. You just get them randomly. You're just sitting there and it's just, <clears throat> boom, a zap. And it doesn't hurt, but it, it's just random. I'm getting the zaps. I'm just going, like, woo, this is weird. But I'm taking my supplements and I weaned off the antidepressant pretty quickly within in two weeks. I mean, you should take longer, but I was just like, yo, I just want to get this over with. And after the two weeks, for about a month and a half afterwards, I'm still getting the zaps, and I'm just like, I'm going to have the zaps for the rest of my life. Like, this is just a part of daily life is I'm going to get a couple of zaps. And then I remember about a month and a half, two months after, because, it, I mean, I still wasn't feeling 100%. All of a sudden, I'm like... I wake up and I think to myself, hey, I haven't had a zap in a while. And that's when I realized, you know, I was completely done with antidepressant withdrawal. So that was my experience with taking Celexa, taking antidepressants. Honestly, if you are so depressed and you've tried everything, taking an antidepressant in the short term, in my opinion, isn't I'm not, I'm not saying antidepressants are evil, but the way that we just throw these things like Celexa at people when they come in and say, hey, I don't feel good, and they go, oh, here you go. Do you want Celexa, Zoloft, or Paxil? Choose which one. Celexa is not going to give you sexual side effects like the other ones. That's a little bizarre, in my opinion, because if, if, if we're eating foods that we're sensitive to or you know, there's all these other factors that's the, re the real root reason why we're depressed... Antidepressant is just going to cover that up. 
So I want to encourage everyone that sees this, if you're on Selexa, if you want to get off it, or if you're considering Selexa, or whatever, you need to really look at the root causes of your depression. You need to look at nutrition. You need to look at amino acids, vitamins. You need to test your hormone levels, your thyroid levels. You need to get to the bottom of the root cause and really think about taking antidepressants more seriously than just thinking it's some random pill that I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna pop. Because if you do, you know, you might be increasing your dose down the line and then you might be thinking, oh, I gotta get off it and then you can't get off it and then you're gonna be, you know, getting those zaps and it's gonna be a weird, crazy experience every day just all of a sudden walking around just getting a zap. So let me know what you guys think. If you have any experiences like this with taking antidepressants and what your views are, take it easy.